tote package, this huge package full of festival outfits. I'm going to do like a festival try on haul, um, kind of lookbook thing. I'm waiting for two more parcels of some more stuff I bought and then I'm going to film that. Here's a little sneak peek. Oh my god, I just tried on heaps and it's so cute. Here's more stuff too, this especially. Look at it. I love... So after the gym I finished editing my haul, no not haul, vlog, I don't know why I said haul I think because I just had haul on my mind um, and I am now editing a little Instagram live, not Instagram live, Instagram TV, my Korean makeup look I did before but I just want to put on a little bit of a mask because I feel like I just want something gentle, I've been using clay mask and my exfoliator a lot the last few days just because I've had some bad congestion again. So I just want something hydrating. I might do the Glam Glow hydrating one. Smother my chin and nose and cheeks in this. I'm not worried about my forehead because that is strangely, not like oily, but like hasn't really got dry lately, which it usually does. Honestly, this smells so good. I'm just like smothering my face in it and then I'll wipe it off in like 25 minutes, half an hour after I finish doing my Instagram TV video. And then I'll just fill it with my moisturizer and stuff. I believe this skirt is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, and this top is from Super 8. It's old. Why do I have the light on right now? Oh, I didn't have a coffee today. It's probably a good thing. Also, my fake engagement ring arrived. So, my engagement ring, needless to say, is specially insured. But that's only for New Zealand. You can't get insurance for it overseas because it's worth so much money. Um, they just won't do it because if you travel and you lose it, they're just like, nah, not our problem. You have to get it covered under your actual travel insurance. Every time you travel, you get travel insurance, but then even then you have to pay all this extra money for, um, travel insurance when it's something really expensive. So I just don't really want to do that. And, and even if I did and I lost it overseas and I had the insurance, like that's all fine and dandy, but I just don't want to ever lose it if I can help it. Like this is my ring that Hamish chose and got specially made like I don't want to have to go get a second one made or anything like that ever even if it is completely free under insurance and stuff like I just want to keep my original engagement do you know what I mean like this is my first and I want it to be my only like this is it and I'm trying to find the ring there it is so I just bought this like duplicate but it's not it's very different I couldn't find one that looked identical they either had really sharp diamonds around the outside like a straight line see how mine's kind of cut in like there's like little dots they either had like a straight band instead which I don't like or it had like a huge middle diamond this isn't real diamonds I feel like I'm blabbing so much right now this isn't real diamonds or anything but it's the closest thing so the side ones are smaller in this fake engagement ring and the diamond in the middle is way bigger. Doesn't suit me as much, but it's just like a cheap copycat for while I'm traveling. So that if I lose this, I don't give two shits. And yeah, it's not a diamond. It was like $80. I got it off Etsy from the shop called Pescara Jewelry. This is how you spell it, if you can read it on here. Um, yeah, it's just the closest thing I could find quickly. I just ordered it real quick, so I wanted to make sure it arrived in time. It's got way more little, like, diamonds down the side, but they're much, um smaller and then the middle one's obviously much bigger and it just looks faker like it doesn't look like a real diamond because it's not but it's just a good little like travel ring so I've just chucked that in the spare drawer for a while I go away because I'm terrified of losing my baby I love this one I just feel like it suits me so well everything about it's so perfect yeah that was my little idea for while I'm traveling because I still want to wear a ring I don't just want to go and not wear a, wear a ring because I just enjoy wearing it makes me happy and I bet I'm gonna actually like wear this and be sad because it's not my real one but at least it's something similar-ish I'm like really not hungry today and I don't know why because the last few days have been ravenous so I'm just gonna have a protein shake just so that I'm not like so I don't burn out later basically because I think I'll go back to the gym and then I reckon for dinner I'll be hungry and I'll have like a nice big salad or I don't know, something like that. So, for protein, we've pretty much just been having whatever because we just count it into our macros. Like, if we end up having, um, you know, three or four grams of carbs in a protein shake, 
that just goes into like the rest of the day like obviously I wouldn't go hard out but that still means I've got like 15 or more carbs for dinner and veggies which I'll probably struggle to eat that many anyway so yeah I get questions like what's the best keto friendly protein and it's like honestly just it just depends like obviously the lower the carbs the better but like most of them do have some carbs I think my hemp one's really low carb but it doesn't taste as good as the ones that have like sweetener and stuff in them so yeah you just need to like account it into your carbs I'm not strict keto I'm like dirty keto so that means like I still have sometimes things that aren't strictly keto such as you know my Lux Fitness protein powder or whatever it may be like sometimes I have like nuts and stuff you know what I mean? Which have carbs, but I just counted it into my day. I hope that made sense. Where's my protein shaker though? Do I have it in the car? I think I left it in the car, okay. Like this one here's Hamish's. Um, like I don't always do protein shakes as meal replacements, like this is actually very rare. Like I probably have like one or two protein shakes a week, like if I'm super hungry straight after a workout and I just want something like instantly to like have to fill me up a little bit before I make dinner. Cause like, you know, sometimes when you're like starving, you're like, oh my God, I've got to wait to cook and then you'll start like smashing out cheese or something. So I just feel like this isn't as bad. Kind of just like a snack, I guess. Like I don't really use this as a meal, but if you're not on keto and stuff, like you can make protein shakes into a meal, but I would just create like a bloated smoothie, like what I used to do for breakfast. Do you know what I mean? Like banana, spinach, all that kind of stuff. You can still make um, keto friendly smoothies. I just don't really have them. Like it's, I've just been having stuff like this with water sometimes. And I usually still have like my two meals a day. But like I said, for some reason, I'm just not hungry whatsoever. So this is gonna, oh my God, I can't even open it. This is gonna do the trick. I don't know where Hamish has put our um, scoop. So anyways, by the way, this is the gold standard way and it is in the flavor Rocky Road. It's the best, like so good. And per serving, which is 31.5 gram, which I'm just sorting out now on my scale. By the way, if you don't have scales, came out, he's really, oh God, well, that's two servings. <laughs> There we go. That's 33 grams. So that's just over the 31.5 gram mark. So this has three grams of carbohydrate, which two of that is sugar. So, you know, three grams of carbohydrates. That's fun by me. And it's really, really yum with um, almond milk if you're like more hungry, but I'm just going to do this. And if I'm still hungry right before the gym, I'll probably just have a few nuts. Because I find like even when I'm not even when I haven't skipped lunch, like, you know, when I'm normally eating in my day, sometimes I'm still a little bit peckish before my gym workout. And if I am, I just have like a few nuts and I find it to be a real good, just like quick snack that makes me real satisfied. And it's like so small, but I don't know. They make me really full. Cool. Give me good energy for my workout. I usually have, you know, leftover salads or leftover dinner. Like I always cook more dinner. That's basically how I like roll my day. Like I usually cook you guys have seen in my videos, like I'll do like double dinners for me and Hamish so that we've usually got like stuff for the next day. Sometimes if I really can't be bothered and I haven't prepped anything, we just do like eggs, like scrambled eggs with some spinach, maybe some bacon if I'm super hungry or I'll whip up a quick salad. But yeah, those are kind of like my go-to lunches. Just depends what I've been cooking and yeah, sometimes I do like those little egg cups off my plan, so you can eat Freddy's. Um, I don't usually have like meat and veg for lunch, that's usually like a dinner thing. So if I've done meat and veg for dinner, that's when I usually like try to meal prep at the same time some salad for the next day, or just have like bacon and eggs or whatever. It's so tasty. So good. Try it guys. If you like protein powder, and you're looking for a really, oh god it's so heavy, a really delicious flavour, Rocky Road. It doesn't taste like Rocky Road to me, it just tastes like a chocolate milkshake, it's so good. And it's really good as well, like on keto, like if I really want something sweet, it's like something sweet that I can have. That's only three grams of carbs, so it's like a dessert. Obviously, I don't like endorse skipping heaps of meals either. I don't have breakfast because I honestly just don't feel like I need it. And I've just got this philosophy at the moment where if I'm hungry, I eat. And if I'm not hungry, I'll just have like a snack or something instead. It's like I seem to go through waves, especially since coming off the pill. I'll have like one solid week where I'm so hungry and I'll eat like... 
more than I'm supposed to each day. But I'm still like overall losing, but it's like a slow journey, do you know what I mean? And I don't like binge on bad food, obviously. I just eat like bigger portions and like have a few more snacks during the day, like of nuts or cheese. Um, and then some weeks, like now that I'm not on the pill, like I'm literally never hungry. It's like I don't even have a hunger, like anything. Like I just, I could go all day without eating, but I don't, but do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's kind of my philosophy at the moment is just like listening to my body and trying to like, like what's it called? Intuitive eating or whatever. I don't know. Um, and that kind of comes into like how sometimes I count my macros and sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends how my body is going and like how much I'm sticking to my food plan as well. And yes, I was just picking at my skin with the scrub I've been using, that Dermalogica one. You can really like push out all the shit. Like helps to like soak it all out, makes your skin so clean and so soft. And then I noticed like the actual congested bits, I can really just like squeeze out all of the crap. It's so gross. It's like dead skin cells and it's just like this white thick paste that comes out it's not even like pus but I can like smash them out of my skin and they look terrible like this for like a day um and then they kind of settle down and my skin just looks really nice again so let's just call it the fancy word like I'm just doing extractions like I'm totally not picking my skin even though I am and I probably still shouldn't but it's coming out and I'm happy I think uh they heard me talking about how I ran out of one of these already I'm like you know I still got one like full one or well, kind of full I've been using it for a week now but I went through a whole one of these. I really like it. It's real nice. Like, I like the flavor now that I'm used to it. And I went back to Curse for a few days. And I just feel like it wasn't as effective. I don't know. I don't use it every single workout, guys. Because I just don't want to get, like, super dependent on it. But I especially use it, like, you know, in those mornings you wake up and you're just like, bleh. That's when I use this. And I've still got so much of the fat burner. But, um, the pre-workout's like my favorite. The fat burner makes me feel funny sometimes. So I don't really have it that often. Like, I don't know. And some Colourpop press stuff. Perfect for festivals. Look at these. Amazing colours. And like, look at these. Juicy. Your lips a bit bigger. You've got like cream gel liners. Oh my god, neon green. <gasps> oh my god, I should use one of them. If there's a yellow one for my yellow look. Yes, look. Oh my god, yes. I am literally on fire today, you guys. I've filmed, no, not filmed. I've edited three vlogs, which were long vlogs, and two beauty videos, and a mini Instagram TV video, and still another IGTV video. Huh. I love having a super productive day, so I'm just gonna whip on some BB cream to cover up a little bit of the splotchiness that I currently have on my face. I'll show you guys what I've been loving lately. You just have to have a little boob shot. Hopefully they still sell this. And I need to go through all this makeup on my desk because of it's like new stuff. Love this by the way, this is on my desk. Um, maybe I should put a little bit on first for some SPF because I haven't actually put any on today. It's the um, new Dermalogical one, the Prisma Protect. It's amazing. Like, I think I like this even more than the other Dermalogical one I was using. Which is this one, by the way. Pure light. Here it is. Okay, this is amazing. Also the Hourglass version. I mean, not Hourglass. Why? I think it was Hourglass. I just looked at an Hourglass foundation. That's why. It Cosmetics one is amazing. I don't know if they still make this. The Chi Chi one. The Super CC cream. It's actually a really good dupe. Now, where is my brush? I take a brush like this, which is the Vegan Angled Face Brush. And literally just smash it out. It's so beautiful. I just leave it like this on my skin. So sometimes if I'm like running out the door or if I'm going to the gym like I am now and just want something like really light and not too like heavy on my skin. And yes, I still do use that powder foundation, the gym one that I've done videos on. Love it. I'm just not using it right now. Um, Cause I've had it like packed away in my travel makeup bag since Japan. And I haven't unpacked that travel makeup bag yet. I know. I'm going to the beach house in like a week, so I'm just going to take it with me then. Um, but yeah. Because a beautiful glow to your skin. Really lightweight and just helps to even me out a little bit when I am feeling a little bit more self-conscious about my skin like I am today because of the picking. But honestly, like since using that new Dermalogica product, the congestion down here has gotten so much smoother. Like I had all these little under the skin bumps that weren't pimples. It was just congestion and like lumps of shit that I couldn't squeeze out. And they are coming out now. Like I said, I was able to squeeze out some. Some of it's just calmed down by itself. 
and the actual texture of my skin's getting a lot smoother, so I'm stoked. Anyway, Jesus. Tomorrow I'm gonna film lots. Because like I said, I need a pre-film. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with the amount of work I got done today. Tuesday was a success. Um, it feels good, feels real good. And I think later on I'm going to cook up a chicken for some salads um, for Hamish and I. I might just, should I it? No, I'll cook in the oven. And I don't know what we're having for dinner, but we've got like steak and stuff in the fridge. So I'll show you guys when we get back what we're gonna have. Honestly, look how like glowy my skin looks. I just love this product. You can actually set it as well if it's too glowy. Um, like if you think that it's too shiny for you, but I love this look. See, this is the area where I get terrible condition. You can see there's a few bumps still. And I don't know why I get it, I just do. Yeah, it used to be like that, like all over the bottom, like all over this area, but it's so much smoother now, so. Yeah, I'm so happy I ended up getting that facial and trying some new scrubs, because like the daily microfolian I liked, but I don't think it was harsh enough for my skin. But this one's like harsh, like I only use it like every, probably two to four days, like once or twice a week, because otherwise, yeah, it can like definitely irritate your skin if you go too hard out on it. I did use it once, and I think I probably scrubbed a bit hard, like the pressure. And it didn't like ruin, like my skin didn't freak out, but I could just feel it felt a little bit tender afterwards, especially when I use like my toner and stuff. It felt a little bit like irritated, I guess, but it settled down overnight. <sighs> Abs done. It's so dark. Oh, daylight savings. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, oh my god, my dry bags look horrendous in this lighting. Hi, Zeus. Um, so we're going to, well, I'm going to prep up some chicken and I think I'm just going to make steak for dinner. So the chicken is cooking in the oven um, and there should be enough chicken for four to five salads so I've got two here but I don't know where all my Tupperware keeps going so I'll just put the rest of the chicken in a container and then just freshly make the salad like again tomorrow night for the next day. And then this is our dinner tonight we've got asparagus, broccoli, capsicum, mushrooms and steak. This is what's this? Sirloin? Uh, good question. It is Scotch fillet. Oh, Scotch fillet. Yum! I'm very, very hungry at this stage, so, then, so it should so be good. Lunch is all at Ray, his Hamish's one, and my one for tomorrow. Yum! Well, alright, that is the night. We played a few games of COD, didn't do too well. Didn't really have any friends on. Um, and we are about to watch the hand. What's it called? Handsmaids? Tail or yeah, so we've only watched one episode, but it's already really good. So, looking forward to that. If any of you guys have seen it, let me know what you guys thought. Don't give me any spoilers. Yeah, my friends loved it. Look at this nug. Now, he's so awkward when he scratches himself because his legs are too long. <laughs> 